Welcome! In this episode, I decided to build our dining room table. After looking at dining room tables online and at local stores, I found most tables to be extremely expensive for what they were, and wanted to try to build one myself. This is my first time building a table, so after you watch the video, let me know what you think of the end product. I have the materials I use in the description below, which came out to be around $150 in lumber and $50 in screws, wood filler, paint, and stain. So the table in all was around $200 to build. I hope you enjoyed this episode and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Once I got all the 2x8s to the same thickness, I discovered there was over a quarter inch difference between the ends to the middle of the boards. In order to have a good glue up, I need these boards to be even. So I tried a few methods before I actually remembered I just bought a track saw for my kitchen remodel. This process would be a lot easier if you have a really good table saw. My table saw is on a stand and just doesn't have the power to handle boards this big. This is still a trial and error process for me, but you learn so much more by failing at something. I kept three methods that I tried in this video to show you what didn't work for me.
didn't think of during this build was the finishing stage. I knew we wanted to stain the table, but I ended up using pine for the tabletop and cedar for the base. Both of these woods stain differently, so it wouldn't match if we just stained them the same. So we decided to whitewash the wood prior to staining. Let me know if you think the base and the tabletop look the same now.
here it is, table for under $300. Some things I really like about the process is putting the biscuits in between my two by eights. That stopped any kind of lipping. So my table stayed perfectly smooth and increased the surface area to make the glue up even stronger. Um, I like how thick this table is. Um, some people might not like that thicker tabletop, and if so, I'd plane it down and maybe even get a smaller piece of wood. But I think it's, it's definitely stronger than most commercial grade tables, um, especially with the four x four bases. Um, if I was building this to sell, I would probably use a more expensive finish. As you saw uh, the last few minutes, uh, my finishing was all polyurethane. I did three coats. Um, if I was gonna sell again, I would probably use something more expensive like Rubio Monaco with a ceramic top coat, just like most of the YouTubers use. But I'm not sponsored by anybody, so I'm not using that expensive stuff. Um, again, this is personal use, so I'm, I'm gonna see how it goes. We haven't had any issues with it so far. So if you have any questions about this build, let me know, drop in the comments below. And hopefully next few weeks, I have a couple more projects I have going on. I can start some more videos, let y'all see what I'm doing. See you on the next one.